Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. It's a girl for Lungu back with another reaction video. If you're new to this channel, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe. Like I said, my name is Fanny Lungu, and on this channel, we post reaction videos each and every day. So if there's something that you guys want us to react to, drop us a link in the comment section below and we'll do it for you. You can check out our second YouTube channel called Funny and Jesse 2.0. You can hit that subscribe and enjoy our weekly content. We've got a podcast called Diving In with Funny and Jesse, and we have some amazing conversations which you guys don't want to miss. You can find us on iTunes, Spotify, Podbean, this channel, or our second YouTube channel for the visual. And we have a Patreon account. You guys can feel free to become members and we'll appreciate. A big shout out to everyone that has subscribed to our channel so far. Thank you for subscribing, liking, commenting, sharing, everything that you guys do. We're very, very appreciative. And a big shout out to the person that suggested this. Before I get into the video, please check out my blog, Morning Coffee with Funny, and enjoy the content that I'm putting out. So a big shout out to the person that suggested this. Today we're going to be reacting to who is Prophet Muhammad. Muhammad, his description. So without wasting time, let's get into the video. Describe him to me. And Muslims, look at the description of your Rasul. And for some, this would be the first time you hear what your Prophet looked like. I saw a man of striking appearance. Zahir al ablaj al radiant face, Hassan al khalq, beautifully created. Lam ta'ibhu thajla. His belly wasn't protruding. Walam tuzri bihi sa'ala. Nor was his head disproportionate and small. Waseemun qaseem. Proportionate and delicate. Finely made. A specimen of a creation. Fi aynayhi da'aj. In his eyes there was a contrast. The dark was immensely dark. The white was excessively white. Wa fi ashfarihi watf. And his eyelashes were long. And in his voice was a natural echo. And his neck was elegantly long. His beard was full and thick. His eyebrows were arced, but they were not joint. It was separated. In summit, when he was silent, dignity covered him. And when he spoke, it was audible and clear, almost commanding and overtaking. From afar, the most striking and outstanding in appearance. وَأَحْسَنُهُمْ وَأَجْمَلُهُمْ مِنْ قَرِيبٍ And when he came near, the best of them and the most handsome of them in closeness. حُلْوُ الْمَنْطِقِ So, such an exalted and sweet level of logic. Like when he used to speak, it was so coherently logical. It was smooth and easy to understand. فَصْلٌ لَا نَزْرٌ وَلَا هَذْرٌ He was... To the point, not excessive, nor too short. His logic, his utterances, his words were like jewels coming out of a necklace, calculated, polished, one after the other, it would flow magically. He was medium in height. Your eye didn't have to strain to look up at him, nor was it tedious to look down at him. He was a comfortable sight to look at. He had friends, the people that were with him. They were working around him to try to serve and protect him. In when he used to say something, they used to hearken to what he used to say. When he commanded, they used to compete to fulfill the command. This is Muhammad Rasulullah. This is Muhammad Rasulullah. Anas ibn Malik says, he says, I came out one night. Uh, I came out one night that was the full moon night. And 
I looked at the moon and in the desert understand the moon is, is an awesome sight. It is smooth. It is radiant. It is clear. It is gentle compared to the scorching sun at which they are used to. So the moon was the epitome of beauty. So he says, I came out at a full moon night and I looked at the, at the moon and I saw it beautiful, handsome. So I said, let me go see if the moon is more handsome or my prophet is more handsome. Let me see if that is more beautiful or the prophet is more beautiful. So I went and I saw him standing afar. So I looked at his face and I looked at the moon and I looked at his face and I looked at the moon and I looked at his face and I looked at the moon and he said, Wallahi, he was more handsome than the moon in its entirety. That, that is just the look of your Rasul. Aisha radiallahu anha says, I was sewing with the needle. My needle dropped in the dark. I couldn't find it. I said, Ya Rasul, I can't find it. He moved his face close and I swear, bout of the radiance of his face, I found my needle. And the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam was mind bogglingly handsome. But his handsomeness was covered with waqar in Jalal in Hayba. The Sahaba say, when we used to sit at, hi, at his feet, two feelings conflicting would come on the heart. The first one, you wanted to look at him. You wanted to behold the majesty of his face. And when you wanted to look up, shyness used to overtake you, so you used to look down. Amr ibn al-As says, I sat with him many times, but if you ask me to describe his face, I can't describe it. I wouldn't be able to look up to him ijlalan wa ta'zeeman. I couldn't look up at him. And that is why he didn't have the problems that Yusuf alayhi salam had. Because it was difficult to penetrate the awe and the splendor of the Rasul. Very interesting video. I've actually reacted to something like this but i think it was from another channel and it was just um it wasn't what can i say it was just the voice it was just someone saying the same story as this otherwise all is interesting to listen about muhammad and all the people that surrounded him that felt to describe him or described him were in total they admired him you can tell from the way he's just described these are people that admired him and they described him in the manner that even though you've never met him you know that he was this kind of person and which is which is very very nice i don't know how you guys feel about this description but of course when we look at the moon and look at a person you don't get the clear face but i guess that's the kind of beauty the man possessed i don't know what you guys think what are your thoughts on his description are you satisfied are you not satisfied what do you think what exactly do you think otherwise if you've got something to say feel free to say it in the comment section below you're always welcome to comment if there's something that you want us to react to let us know in the comment section below and we'll do it for you or i'll do it for you Make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe and I'll see you in my next reaction video.